Hey lifers, Dustin here for the very first Saturday Subjects video of 2017. Hope you guys are all doing well. We are only, only 25 Saturdays away from the start of the 2017 college football season and it cannot come soon enough. We're in the middle of March Madness, but I keep thinking of everything in terms of football. For instance, Kentucky's going to another SEC championship and all I can think of is, man, if Kentucky was in the SEC football championship, that would be wild. Too much football in my brain. I figured we'd start off by looking back at how we ended the 2016 season, which of course was the college football playoff, culminating in Clemson winning the national championship. And every single time I watch it, it makes me think, what if there was an eight-team playoff? What would we do if eight teams got in instead of the regular four? So I figured I would tackle that in this video. Now, in case you don't remember, I made a very similar video about this last year, about the 2015 playoff. You can click right here to check that out. And we are going to assume that there's no politics involved. No, no, no. The playoff committee would never do any politics that they ranked the top eight teams exactly how they felt the top eight teams were and has nothing to do with matchups or money or locations or anything. I would never accuse them of doing that. So in case you forgot, the top eight teams were... Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, Washington, Penn State, Michigan, Oklahoma, and Wisconsin in that order. Now, considering I started this last year, the 2015 season, I didn't factor in the 2014 season as far as what bowls. For me, if there's eight teams, there has to be seven games. Therefore, we're going to eliminate seven bowls from the actual bowl schedule. They're just going to be a part of the playoff. I included the Citrus Bowl to the New Year's Six, so now it's the New Year's Seven. And this is what it would look like going forward. If you want to see how I've kind of scripted it out, I'm going to leave some notes in the description kind of under the text where I'm going to talk about each year what the semi, quarter, and national championship, well, quarter, semi, and national championship games are, they will literally just shift right one each year. So if you are in the national, the Rose Bowl is the national championship one year, the next four years it'll be a quarterfinal, then the next two a semi, and it'll go in a seven-year rotation like that. So I'm going to pick that up from the 2015 video. If this is confusing you at all, just pause the video, go look in the description, check out what I'm talking about. But that's how I picked what bowls go where and where teams go where and the times. So there's that. So the quarterfinal locations for the 2016 playoff are the Fiesta, the Citrus, the Peach, and the Sugar Bowls. Your semifinal games are the Rose Bowl and the Orange Bowl, and the National Championship is in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. So how we're going to pick these is the same way they pick them right now. As far as I know, where the one seed gets to pick which location is the best for them, then the two seed obviously goes to what's left. The number one seed in 2016 was Alabama. They had some nice choices between, you know, Basically, between Atlanta and the Peach Bowl and New Orleans and the Sugar Bowl, Alabama has a long history of going to the Sugar Bowl, of playing in New Orleans, but they haven't had the best outcomes there the last few times, losing in 2014 to Ohio State, in 2013 to Oklahoma. So they decide, hey, we know Atlanta. We probably have a better fan base between that can get there between Alabama and Georgia. We're going to go to the Peach Bowl. So number two, Clemson. Now with their, their best option, their, their best option taken off the table in Atlanta decide, hey, we're playing Oklahoma. We beat them in Florida the last two bowl seasons. Let's go three for three. And they pick the Citrus Bowl. It's also the closest location to them, which is really why the best. But beating Oklahoma in three straight postseason games in Florida is, is funny. Number three, Ohio State is playing Michigan. They have the choice between New Orleans and the Sugar Bowl or the Fiesta Bowl, where they've been a little bit more recently. Uh, there's really no geographical advantage over Michigan. They're right beside each other as far as states go. So they decide, you know what, Sugar Bowl is a little closer to us. And, you know, we beat Alabama in the semis in 2014. So we'll pick the Sugar Bowl, which leaves number four Washington to play out west in Phoenix in the Fiesta Bowl. All right, so the dates are set. The very first matchup is Friday, December 23rd. Yep, December 23rd at 5 p.m. between number one Alabama and number eight Wisconsin. Of course, these two teams started off 2015, I believe, against each other. And just like in that game, it's a pretty physical contest. But Alabama's defense, in my opinion, just it's too much. Jalen Hurts has a little bit more rhythm than he did against Florida. And Alabama pulls out the victory to move ahead. At 8.30, you have the Citrus Bowl between Clemson and Oklahoma. 
It's the same tell as it has been the last few years. You have Deshaun Watson and Wayne Gallman and Mike Williams and Ben Boulware and Dexter Lawrence and Christian Wilkins. As good as Baker Mayfield is, as good as that two-headed running monster of Mixon and P. Ryan is for Oklahoma, their defense can't stop Clemson's offense. Clemson wins to advance. At 5 p.m. on Saturday, December 24th, Christmas Eve, we have number three Ohio State against number six Michigan in the Sugar Bowl. Now, the Sugar Bowl is in Louisiana, so it'll start earlier than the Fiesta Bowl will. Of course, we saw these two teams play in Columbus this year. Super tight game, two overtimes, but I have to honor what happened on the field and say Ohio State wins this game in another nail-biter, in another low, lower-scoring game. I have the Buckeyes winning and advancing. Now in a game that I think would be incredibly fun to watch, we have Washington, the team that just got in into the playoffs at number four against Penn State, the team that just got out at number five. And I think what would make these eight-team playoffs so fun is four versus five, like the team that, you know, in the olden days, as they would say, should be in but didn't quite get in. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up because we don't have eight teams. But I think this would be an incredibly close game. I think Penn State would want it more then Washington, as weird as that is to say, Washington fans may disagree. I think, you know, Washington's offense is going to be better than Penn State's offense. But Penn State seemed to have this, this gut factor of trying to claw games. Look at what they did when they came back against USC in that fantastic Rose Bowl. They beat Ohio State. I don't know. I, I don't think Washington played a team with as much zeal as Penn State did, other than USC, and they lost. So, in kind of an upset, I'm putting Penn State to beat Washington in the Fiesta Bowl and move on to play Alabama. All right, so now we are in the semifinals, and because New Year's falls on a Sunday, these games are going to be on Monday night. So, instead of, so the NFL can still have their reign on Saturday and Sunday of their playoff games. On Monday, January 2nd, just like this year, we have the semifinals. In the first game, just like in real life, it will be Clemson and Ohio State, but this time it will be at the Rose Bowl. Clemson's first ever Rose Bowl appearance, Ohio State's first Rose Bowl in a little while. They will play at 5 p.m., the traditional Rose Bowl kickoff time, I believe is 5. So they will play at that time. Have to honor what happened on the field. Ohio State wasn't even competitive. Of course, you never know with right with rivalries with injuries and stuff that happened in the first game so I am still going to say that Clemson wins and advances to their second straight national championship game. Alabama since they won and they're still the number one seed the reason Clemson goes out to Pasadena is because the number one tied picked the Orange Bowl and there they face a very plucky Penn State team a Penn State team that feels they can win feels they belong there, is not intimidated by this Alabama team. They've already played Michigan when they were badly injured. They already played and beat an Ohio State team. They beat the Pac-12 champion. Penn State feels they can absolutely do anything, but they haven't seen this Alabama defense. Of course, the defense was shredded, in a way, by Clemson's offense in the national championship game, but Penn State just doesn't quite have that firepower on offense Though they are able to move the ball and create some situations that Washington was not in our real-life Peach Bowl game that they played in the semifinals, Alabama comes out on top, even though it's much more competitive than the actual semifinal game we got with Alabama. I think Alabama probably wins by 7 to 10 points, honestly. It kind of depends on what Jalen Hurts would do in that game, but once that running game gets going... And then you have the defense. I think it would be very hard for Penn State to mount a comeback. So I got Alabama advancing to their second straight national championship game in a rematch against Clemson, also for the second straight year. So we have it. One week after the semifinal games on the following Monday, this time the same day as in our timeline, Monday, January 9th, number one Alabama, number two Clemson, and of course you know what I'm going to say. Just as it happened on the field, these two teams battled it out incredible game one of the best finishes to not only a national or not only a game a national championship game in history Clemson is going to edge them out for their second national championship and Nick Saban's first national championship loss in his career so there you have it that is how I think the 2016 eight team playoff oh, it sounds like I'm saying 18 2016 eight team college football playoff would go how do you think that the uh, committee would change those rankings Personally, no way that I think they get Ohio State and Michigan to meet in the semifinal. 
absolutely no way. If anything, they would put them in opposite brackets to meet down in Dallas for the Cotton Bowl. How do you feel about the way I put the teams or the, the stadiums in order? Do you think that's a good way to go? Kind of the rotating? Do you like the Citrus Bowl as the seventh venue? Let me know all that down below. This is assuming, of course, that an eight-team playoff happens. It will eventually. I'm almost certain of it. I'm not sure how they would execute it, though. And do you think Clemson still wins a national championship in this scenario? Please let me know down below. I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say. Also, if you watched this far, thank you. I am starting back up this Saturday Subjects video where I want to take a topic about college football and talk about it kind of more in depth. And it can be anything. So I have one coming up about something about Clemson and Auburn. I have something coming up looking at the ACC scheduling. I have something coming up talking about how to fix the bowl system. So it really can be anything. If there's any topic you want to see me talk about, please let me know down in the comment section. I definitely am looking for suggestions, especially since I got like... 25 videos to film before the college football season starts so just a lot of open dialogue is what i want and i want to make sure that i'm making content that you guys like and that you guys want to see so let me know thank y'all so much for watching as always i really appreciate it if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up you can also click the little circle right there to subscribe and catch more videos or watch others over there to your right thank you so much for watching and as always until next time Hey lifers, Dustin here for the very first Saturday Subjects video of 2017. Hope you guys are all doing well. We are only, only 25 Saturdays away from the start of the 2017 college football season and it cannot... Too much football in my brain. I figured we'd start off by looking back at how we ended the 2016 season, which of course was the college football playoff, culminating in Clemson winning the national championship. And every single time I watch it, it makes me think, what if there was an eight-team playoff? What would we do if eight teams got in instead of the regular four? So I figured I would tackle that in this video. Now, in case you don't remember, I made a very similar video about this last year, about the 2015 playoff. You can click right here to check that out. And we are going to assume that there's no politics involved. Not come soon enough. We're in the middle of March Madness, but I keep thinking of everything in terms of football. For instance, Kentucky's going to another SEC championship, and all I can think of is, man, if Kentucky was in the SEC football championship, that would be wild. No, no, no. The playoff committee would never do any politics that they ranked the top eight teams exactly how they felt the top eight teams were, and has nothing to do with matchups or money or locations or anything. I would never accuse them of doing that. So in case you forgot, the 